on as we shift focus and then look at the larger aspect the political fight that's been triggered by the strong charge and aggressive one made by the prime minister at the congress party rahul gandhi and the congress manifesto for lok sabha 2024 for the third consecutive day pm modi escalated the attack against the congress party the prime minister reiterated that the congress aims to seize property from people and distribute it among their khas log their special vote bank today the prime minister further escalated this attack by bringing in reservation issue alleging that the congress Congress and had previously pursued this Muslim reservation. So, a religious denomination getting reservation under the caste category, that is the SCST category or the backward caste category. Prime Minister play, claimed that between 2004 and 2010, the Congress in Andhra Pradesh made several attempts to implement reservation for Muslims as a pilot project, but this was struck down by the Supreme Court. He further added that the Congress wanted to reduce the SCST reservation and distribute it among the Muslims when it was in power in the center. Congress took strong. objection to the prime minister's remark and said he was only diverting from real issues let's listen into what the pm said congress party ki soch hamesha se tushtikaran ki rahi hai vote bank ki rajniti ki rahi hai 2004 mein jaise hi congress ki kendra mein sarkar bani उसके सबसे पहले किए गए कामों में था सबसे पहला काम था चुनाव जीतने के बाद आंध्र प्रदेश में एस सी के रिजर्वेशन में से कमी करके मुसलमानों को रिजर्वेशन देने का प्रयास ये एक पायलट प्रोजेक्ट था जिसे कांग्रेस पूरे देश में आजमाना चाहती थी 2004 से 2010 के बीच कांग्रेस ने चार बार आंध्र प्रदेश में मुस्लिम रिजर्वेशन लागू करने की कोशिश की लेकिन कानूनी अड़चनों की वजह से सुप्रीम कोर्ट की जागरूकता के कारण वो अपने मंसूबा जो लेके चले थे वो पूरे नहीं कर पाए Well, there are 16 sects, uh, if my memory serves me right, and we'll try and have a look at that also. Where uh, Muslim groups have got under backward caste reservation. Now, Tawin Sinan, spokesperson of the BJP, with us, Dr. Ranganathan, author, with us, and Sham Prasad Mekar, leader of the Congress Party, with us. Tawin, now the Congress Party says this is all false. This is like trying to. Divert attention. Dhan badkao strategy. Well, Anand, you may be aware. I have been saying this for some time. That this Congress is the modern day Muslim League. Mm. And if you specifically look at the manifesto, mm. it's a mischievous manifesto. Thirteen times the word minority is mentioned. Not a single time the word majority is mentioned. The only time it is mentioned is in a negative connotation. The word majoritarianism. Mm. The the multiple references to wealth redistribution and to personal loss they hmm. always they obviously had an insinuating impact. Hmm. Now, you know we know the history of the Congress Party. We know how the Work Act was brought in 1995, which gave overriding powers to the Work Board to acquire any land which they deemed was their right. own. You know, in which even the court would be helpless, and that was only strengthened in 2013 through an amendment. Seven years after Manmohan Singh very categorically said. that the first right over the resources of this country is with the minorities specifically with the muslims hmm. and by the way what manmohan singh said in 2016 as to 2006 was reiterated four months ago very emphatically by uh, sida ramaiya the present karnataka cm who who said that you know the he would redistribute the properties of of uh, this country among the muslims right so i think you know there is a very clear motive involved over here and if you put two and two together you know huh. as honorable prime minister explained today between 2004 and 2010 they made multiple attempts in andhra to to take away uh, reservation from the scst quota and give it to muslims a similar thing has been happening in karnataka hmm. a similar thing would have happened in many other states provided the, the congress party had the governments over there right. so i think you know this congress party needs to be viewed with skepticism this is a dangerous congress party and i think the onus is upon the congress party to 
explain what it means by redistribution because redistribution for the Congress party is a very dangerous word. You can't True. trust him. Now, I, I'm just sharing this information. 2004 reservations for Muslims in government jobs and education was first announced by the then Congress state government. 2010, the Supreme Court stayed the implementation of Muslim reservation, but then a three-judge bench of the Supreme Court headed by the then Chief Justice of India, K.G. Balakrishnan, stayed the High Court order and allowed the continuation of 4% reservation for scheduled 14 categories of Muslims listed under the backward classes, BC, category in E, category. Then, in 2022, a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court started hearing this plea, challenging the constitutional validity of reservations for Muslims in Andhra Pradesh as economically and socially backward classes. So, a religious denomination, our constitution does not allow this. And this is all going to come out of the SCST uh, reservation uh, clauses. Shyam Prasad Mekha, please tell me, should scheduled tribes uh, quota, should, then, should it go on a religious denomination to Muslims? Or should it go to, to any religious denomination? Because it's not. Our constitution or not, but does not mandate quota or reservation on the basis of religion. This okay. is part of the yeah. Congress's manifesto. Correct. First of all, it's, it's ridden with a lot of missing people. For me. We need to understand what happened in Andhra Pradesh. Not taken from SCST quota. It was adhering to then initially it was bought in the, COVID, the overall limit of the overall reservation has been breached. And second, when Chandrababu and I do try to do it for religious uh, on the religion grounds, it was struck down by the court. When YSR, uh, Congress Party government came in, 4% was promised as the backward communities amongst Muslims were added into the BC uh, categories and they were given 4%. That was the fact and now the people coming and saying it, it will be taken from SCST quota these are all simply fear mongering no Shamprasad Prasad, Shamp Prasad, see uh, please tell me where is this quota going to come out of one secondly the the whole argument and logic is that the caste system is an anomaly or a problem as far as the Hindu society and Hindu way of life is concerned, Hindu Samaj is concerned. There is no caste system in Christianity and in um, um, Islam. That's why the conversion game itself happens. Then, how are you a caste or a backward class while you have changed community? Now, aren't you asking for quota on the basis of religion then? then is that not uh, wide the constitution itself? And somewhere this is going to pinch, right? It's going to pinch the backward class only, the backward classes and also the scheduled class and scheduled tribes. Because there's a ceiling. Uh, you correct, can't give correct. beyond that. that. They won't see. Anand, Anand, Anand. See, the uh, ceiling is there. If any, any uh, uh, shortening the, of uh, anybody's quota happens, it, it happens from the uh, OBC. Okay. And also, it's not on the religious basis. Nobody, Congress party doesn't support any religious basis. But 16, basis 16 groups of Muslims are the Muslims are getting on what basis? No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Then you give See, it as backward class only. Then, 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 then that is between. That's right. the, that's that is the, what Narendra no, no. Modi ji is talking about. Pasmanda so, Muslims day in day out. No, no, right. he can talk about. What Pasma, is it about? No, no, he can talk about Pasmanda Muslims, ah. but the category is economically poorer section. So you have only reservation for haves and have-nots, and anybody who's got an income less than ten lakh rupees per annum will pick, will qualify based on merit. Are you willing to do no. that? You're not promising that. You're saying specifically for Muslims, I'm going to create this category. That's that's the appeasement no, 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 game. No, 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 the no. Congress wait, wait, manifesto wait, wait. says it's for Muslims. It does not say no. I'm going to create a separate category for the upliftment of Parsis who are less than one percent in the country. No, wait, wait, for wait. the upliftment tell of Sikhs who are less than Sikhs who are less than three Congress percent. Manifesto. Sir, it is there. Tell me the page number in con Congress manifesto. I have it right in front of okay. me. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so uh, then, okay. Now, Where can I, it, it can we just play out the soundbite of Mr. Rahul Gandhi? So then, either he is lying or the Congress no, no, manifesto tell, is lying. You tell no, me. No, no. Listen, listen to what listen to what Mr. Rahul Gandhi is saying. Listen. Play it. Yeah, yeah. We are playing it, sir. We are playing it. I am saying this. You go. You go. You are going to loot. चौबीस घंटे आपको लूटा जा रहा है और आप देखते जा रहे हो मैनिफेस्टो में 
हमने क्रांतिकारी काम करना है पहला काम जाति जनगणना इससे सबकी गिनती हो जाएगी सबको पता लग जाएगा किसकी कितनी आबादी उसके बाद इकोनॉमिक सर्वे होगा फाइनेंशियल सर्वे होगा हिंदुस्तान की सब संस्थाओं का सर्वे होगा सबको पता लग जाएगा हिंदुस्तान के धन में किसकी कितनी भागीदारी है देर इज अनादर साउंड बैट वेन ई टॉक्स अबाउट द कास्ट कैटो नो कास्ट कोटा इन द कैटेगरी वी प्ले दैट आउट ऑल्सो नाउ डॉक्टर रंगनाथन सो दैट इज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वी विल एक्सरे द वेल्थ we will divide the caste we'll see which caste is rich we'll take money from them and we'll give it to the other group now in the congress manifesto as far as the muslims there is a separate category affirmative action is what is spoken about there and this is a continuation of what prime minister referred to as dr manmohan singh said first right of resources is on with the muslims yes dr ranganathan uh, anand i have a couple of points to make number 1 why is it that when it comes to reservation suddenly islam has caste discrimination as well on all other issues it is the uh, uh, you know the, the wretched hindus and hinduism that is supposed to have caste discrimination but suddenly now islam has caste discrimination so we must do something for upliftment of the castes that are there belonging in islam the other issue is as you very well know anand that jinnah said i will either have a divided india or a destroyed india he managed the former rahul gandhi is intent upon managing the latter and when mm. you asked that this reservation quota i will come only from the one that is predetermined to be within 50% one of the poll promises of congress party is they are going to junk the supreme court ceiling of 50% this is what they are going to do they are going to have social engineering on an unprecedented disastrous scale and i want to ask you see there are two things out here anand you must understand the psyche it is all very well every uh, political party panders to a vote bank i can still say yes it would be wrong but it is not an issue if congress is blatantly pro muslim hmm. it's all right the problem comes when it is in addition to being pro muslim it is anti hindu you remember during the upa of course uh, you know to he mentioned the waqf draconian waqf act but even more draconian than that was the communal violence bill hmm. that said that in the event of a communal riot the person always held guilty would be a person belonging to the majority i.e. the hindu community this is how blatantly congress is anti hindu pro muslim is one thing being pro muslim and anti hindu is another it's a double whammy and this is what is going to happen that is why i applaud the bjp when it scrapped the 4% reservation quota in karnataka it promised it will do so and it has done so this is going to be the death knell of any society prospering in this country if religious quotas comes in. no those the, and and also if you want to give reservation you give to the have nots have nots be from any any of the communities across the country any citizen of the country who is a have not who needs upliftment who needs help should be given give 50% reservation to have nots <laughs> why should there why should it there be for muslims for any of the castes or any of the groupings there are haves and have nots across all strata of society then make it on merit that nobody will agree because this game of divide and rule will then flop to insina Anand you know Congress no, manifesto does not uh, talk about no, no, any quota for Anand, Muslims Anand the Congress manifesto has tried to be too clever by half on the one hand you have multiple references of uh, caste census and, and you know Rahul Gandhi mentioning about the socio economic survey and on the other hand you have multiple mention of Muslim uh, financial empowerment uh, provisions to uplift the community now you know if you put two and two together yeah, what it, it seems is that they will go for a, uh, for the socio economic survey the the mm. x ray as rahul gandhi calls it but the number of times the manifesto men mentions that the rights of minorities will be uh, will be protected in all likelihood muslims will be exempt from this by virtue of articles 25 to 30 of the constitution mm. hence the owners of the survey would entirely be upon the hindu community and it is they who would be you know liable to give out wealth 
we will in conduct a caste to, survey. In excess of what Rahul Gandhi then, thinks. Then, <laughs> then in the interest of safeguard the interest of the minorities with affirmative action. What is that affirmative <laughs> action? Before uh, Anand Ranganathan speaks, just quickly playing out what Rahul Gandhi said on reservation also. हमने वायदा किया है कि जैसे ही हमारी सरकार आएगी जो हमने तेलंगाना में किया जाति जनगणना को हम पूरे देश में इंप्लीमेंट कर देंगे पिछड़े वर्ग को दलितों को आदिवासियों को गरीब जनरल कास्ट के लोगों को माइनॉरिटीज को पता लग जाएगा कि इस देश में उनकी भागीदारी कितनी है इसके बाद हम फाइनेंशियल और इंस्टीट्यूशनल सर्वे करेंगे we will do what we did in andhra pradesh 4% percent yeah. quota for muslims <laughs> you try, you no, try to we'll do what no, we'll do what we did in andhra pradesh that's exactly what he said yes uh, anand ranganathan finally you will you, yeah. you will become yeah. prime minister uh, narendra Sh 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 just just 10 seconds yeah two points number one when rahul gandhi says hum caste survey karenge are they have all upa did the caste survey i want to ask shamji why didn't it make it public what was yes. so scary about the caste survey that it was not made public number 2 it is also a fact that the get out clause or the loophole in all this anand is the obc the full form of obc is other backward classes not other backward caste caste but the reality is that those classes are actually caste so when mr sham prasad says that look that we are not talking about the caste system it is the class system and the muslim classes backward muslim classes are being given reservation i want to ask him is that the case for all obcs do you consider for example ghachi teli mali as classes or caste say it openly then they, 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 it's it's purely playing play with words but that's the dangerous play of words classes either have or have not there can be only two classes the classes that are backward are economically backward or or they are so that should Anand. go across Anand. the board how is that Anand. then suddenly becomes caste when it is convenient and it becomes community when it's community uh, it's convenient Anand. very very Anand. dangerous gentlemen i have to i have to i have to wind this up we'll take this up properly uh, in the coming days okay. uh, we've got the chatisgarh deputy cm uh, standing by he should be joining us live any moment now taking a very very short break thanking all our guests on debate number 2 stay with us